Hey, welcome back to Spirit of a Handyman. Today we're going to look at two different types of systems to divert water into your rain barrel. He's got the spirit of a handyman. A handyman. So here I am at my 100 year old plus house and there's no exterior water hookup. Um, so I have very limited ways to water the lawn and, and such. So I went ahead and followed some instructions on YouTube, put a link below, um, really helpful video on how to build your own rain barrel. Um, but now I need to tie it into the gutter. I found two different versions uh, on how to hook your rain barrel up to your gutter. We're going to check out to see which one's easiest to install. All right, the first version we're going to check out is called Fisker's Diverter Pro. And it comes with all these fun little doodads here and a little set of instructions. So I'll read through those and then walk you through what I'm doing. All right, based on the illustrative drawings, it looks like the ideal place to make this cut uh, is going to be right around the top of the barrel because um, then it's going to discharge off the side and the acceptable range um, is somewhere in like the top five or six inches of your rain barrel. If you go too low, it's not gonna fill up your rain barrel high enough. If you cut the pipe too high, then uh, your barrel's gonna overflow because all that water is just gonna keep pouring in here. So, looks like I'm gonna make my cut right about even with the top of the barrel and then hook this puppy up. One of the downsides to this is um, just getting the gutter fed into the piece itself. If you're dealing with a tapered end, um, well, it still is just a little bit of a squeeze. Um, so just getting the, the piece in there all the way is proven to be a little difficult. This is a two by three gutter, I believe. Um, if you have a three by four, okay, well that's fits in there nice and easy, but it's like super roomy and so all sorts of crud could get in there. So I'm gonna have to fiddle with it to really get it in. Here's a damage report. After sawing away at this uh, gutter, it, it really took a toll trying to squeeze the top piece in here and get all that connected. Um, so I've got it in, but it's not pretty and it was a pain. It took about an hour to do. Um, also, uh, one nice thing is this kind of leaf catching guard thing. Um, this is a nice feature if you don't have a covered gutter, then you can grab all the leaves and debris. The water, meanwhile, flows through and gets filtered through these side holes and discharged into your water barrel. So it is nice if you don't have covered gutters. That's that's a pro. So another problem is I've got this uh, solid top rain barrel. So I drilled my hole um, and now I can't get my hand in in order to put this guy in here and then secure that top piece on there. So I need to go find my 13 year old brother with skinny hands in order to have him tighten up this gasket inside here. All right, so the downside is I couldn't reach my hand in here, but my beautiful mother came by and she has tiny hands and was able to put them in. I kind of scratched her up. So not a big fan of this system. Next up is the FlexiFit Universal Diverter System, which comes with the pipe. This is the piece that they have um, invented which gets inserted into your gutter and catches the water and channels it through this hole. Pretty slick device, a winter cover guard. Comes with uh, all the hole saw things that you need. And um, just overall, I mean, comparably priced. Um, they're basically the same price, but this is looking like it'll be a lot easier to install. Let's check it out. Yeah. 
And here we have the system at work. We've got the water going through. And it has filled up this rain barrel on a beautiful rainy day here in Price Up. And here's rain barrel number two. Filled up all the way, which means that I need to uh, make the level. I need to raise this barrel up just by a couple inches here. But it's working. Just for the record, I am not endorsed by either of these two companies. But personally, after trying to install both of them, I have to say Mr. Fisker's not so good earth-minded system, this system right here, far superior. Way less setup time, a lot more intuitive to set up. It's gonna be pretty easy to winterize. Um, I'm a big fan of this system after trying both of them. Post your favorite rain capturing device and technique down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and uh, we can build a little community together on how to be a spirit of a handyman collectively. In the meantime, thanks for being earth-minded and friendly and doing projects yourself. Hopefully this has empowered you somewhat. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time for Spirit of a Handyman. He's got the spirit of a handyman. this back in. Push and squeeze. It's easy as one, two, three. Ba -da -boom.